A controversial proposal actually causing community and city leaders to push back. The mayor's office now dropping its request to go into a contract with a reality TV show that follows EMS and police. WDSU investigative reporter Cassie Sherm live in studio. And Cassie, has this company worked with the city before? Yeah, previously they did. Now the production company, which is 44 Blue Productions, it's had five seasons of Night Watch in New Orleans previously following EMS to scenes. This time it would include detectives with NOP who are trying to solve homicides. One woman who was filmed after the accident, she says she didn't want the show to come back. It was just a very violating experience. I felt dehumanized. In December of 2020, Laura LeBlanc was driving home from dinner on Tulane and Broad when another vehicle came out of nowhere. A woman ran a red light and took off the entire front end of my car, causing the cars to hit from the front end, but then also the back. So my body kind of zigzagged, the seatbelt tightened and gave me an injury called seatbelt sign, which is really dangerous because you can bleed internally. Confused from the crash, LeBlanc says what happened next was unsettling. I was on the ground after the accident, panicking because the other driver of the car was passed out, hanging outside the window. So I thought she was like possibly not alive and I was freaking out. And I look up, EMS shows up. There's a camera with bright lights in my face and a full mic. And I started panicking even more because I thought, oh my gosh, this is the news because there's been a fatality. This is a really bad situation. So I started hyperventilating and the EMS attendant whispered in my ear like, hey, we're doing a, um, a reality television show called Night Watch. Are you cool to be on camera? And I immediately said, no, get out of my face. And I yelled at them. She says it was an experience that added to the chaos. Wasn't able to really focus on what was even going on because I was so stressed out that there was a camera filming all of this while I was screaming on the ground. This document from the city shows the purpose of the show is to promote positive public perception of NOPD and EMS. The mayor's office was looking to enter a five-year agreement with the production company, which requires city council approval, but some council members had hesitations. I don't understand, like, how does a consent work? Because if I'm in the back of an ambulance and I'm passed out, like, how am I consenting to somebody jumping in an ambulance with me who's holding a camera and filming me? In an email to City Council, the production company president addressed the privacy concerns, stating, if someone does not want to be filmed, we respect their privacy and don't include them. And noted, due to our right to review policy with New Orleans EMS, no material makes it to air without being screened and approved by New Orleans EMS. LeBlanc's accident never aired, but she says with her experience, she believes the possible benefits are outweighed by the cons. Do you want your most private, scariest, saddest moments on TV so that other people can make profit off of it. To me, it rubs me the wrong way. I don't agree with it. I think certain things are very sacred and private and, you know, I'm a healthcare professional, so I very much value like privacy in situations where you're going to need health care, there's injuries or whatever the case is. That's why Council Member Helena Moreno says if the city wants to show off the good work of the first responders with a TV show, to go at it a different way. I just say it's like there's probably better ways to do this show, like maybe dramatizations of all of like the incidents and let's not show our real people suffering through some of the worst days of their lives and put them on TV. Now, 44 Blue Production says they have filmed almost 1,000 calls over the past six years, which has resulted in 63 episodes airing on A&E. They say they haven't received a single viable complaint just yet, but we will continue to follow this. All right, Cassie, thank you. Right now, EMS says that they are evaluating the concerns with the department's involvement in with future film. We reached out to the city and they said that there are no official plans to move forward with the series.